What's up guys, today I'm going to be getting the rest of my tires mounted onto my wheels. I have all three of my wheels sitting right here and this is one of my tires. The other two are in the garage. I also have my three TPMS sensors that just came in yesterday. So I'm going to head over, get everything mounted and then I'm going to mount two of them onto my car, go drive on the highway and see how these spacers work. But I'll talk about the spacers a little bit more later in the video, kind of explain what my reasoning is behind just putting two of these on. <music> what happens when your car is too small. So I have two of the wheels in the back, two tires in the back seat, and then up front I have the other wheel and the other tire. So my whole car is loaded down with wheels and tires. And yeah, this should be a pretty interesting drive. I just got back from the tire shop. The tires are mounted up onto the wheels. So I'm gonna get these out of the car and then I'm going to put the two on the front so I'm just gonna get these out of the car real quick and I'll catch back up to you guys once I have all of them out. Here's all the tires mounted up. I'm going to sit down and kind of explain to you what I'm gonna do next because it's kind of uh, weird. But yeah, let me, uh, let me just explain to you what's going on. So the easiest way to explain this is to start with the spacers. And this is what I bought. I bought these off of eBay. They were about 50 bucks for two of them. So I bought two of these spacers to test with the wheels and everything. And everything works fine, right? The only problem with these spacers is they are not hub centric, which means they don't have a hub centric ring sticking out from here. They're hub centric to the car, which means they fit snugly on the hub with no up and down or side to side motion. But when you put the wheels on there, the wheels can move up and down or side to side on the spacer. The biggest issue with this is that I could experience vibration when I put my wheels on. So. Basically what I'm going to do is, since I only have two of these spacers, I'm going to mount two of the wheels on the front two hubs and go drive on the highway, see if I get any vibration at all. If I don't get any vibration and I mounted them upright, I can buy two more of these and just make sure I'm really careful while mounting them and hopefully I won't have any vibration in the rear as well. So now we know what I'm doing, let's get started on getting these wheels onto the car. <laughs> I got both of the wheels on so there's the one on the right side and one on the left side I'm gonna take this for a quick drive see if it vibrates or anything but I just want to take a quick second to appreciate how mean that looks with the poke it looks so good on the sides from the front so yep I'm gonna take it for a quick drive and I'll tell you guys what I think so I'm driving guys and I was just doing about 70 miles per hour on the highway and I didn't feel any real noticeable vibration, so I think I might actually be able to get by with these eBay spacers. So I'll probably be ordering another set today or tomorrow if I have enough money for it. These tires are really sticky, I'm really enjoying them. They're also wider, so I'm definitely, you can definitely feel the handling is better with even ju with just the front two on, which I'm really happy about. So anyways, I'll catch up with you guys at home, and uh, yeah, see you in a second. All right, I'm back home now, and these tires are just freaking awesome. I love these. They are, like, they're not even broken in yet, and I can already tell that they are super, super good. So, yep, looks like these spacers will work, so I'm gonna have to order two more so I can get the other two tires in the rear on. It looks kind of funny with mismatched wheels, but I'm gonna take these off and run my old ones, my stock ones, for a while until I get those other spacers in. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to drop a big like down below. Also subscribe for more videos like this one. I have been really enjoying the support lately. I really appreciate every single one of you guys who have subscribed. Also leave a comment down below. Tell me about your car, um, anything you've done to it. I have stickers on my car and some people hate that, but you know, it's all right. But yeah, leave a comment. Tell me about your car. Tell me about things I should do to my car and anything like that. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching. Peace.